Unbelievable. You need some respirators. All right, Sean, back to you. First four overtime game in the history of this event, and just the second ever in the history of Big East Conference play. There's been one four overtime regular season game. Georgetown and Notre Dame in 2002. Georgetown beat Notre Dame. 116, 111. Fabiz with the first bucket to get Connecticut to 100 points in the opening seconds of the fourth overtime. And they took advantage of Andy Routon's size there. Well designed by a Hall of Famer. Syracuse has not substituted since a minute 18 remained in the second overtime. Went on a walk. It was the second orange to foul out. Orange and out was the first. The beat, the block, but Harris was there. Jackson gets called for the charge. And that's a big call. Yeah, they're both yeah, were in that there. That would not have applied. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I would love to see it, though, Sean. So three Syracuse players have fouled out, and they have had to go to the bench now for Chris Joseph, who has not played a single minute tonight. Get loose, Chris. And look at the size of everybody out there. He's in the middle of the back of the zone. Chris Joseph, a freshman, 6'7", 220, from Montreal. Price is shot and gone. Now the big has fouled out. He shoved Harris out of the way. And what? But as good as Edwards is, and he's done a nice job, he's very capable from the line. And, and Jay, your point well taken is now Flynn, they can use the ball screen, he can go to the rim and actually elevate over most people. Well, Syracuse picked a good night. They have a much better than usual night from the foul line. There's 72.2 tonight, 63% for the year. Adrian, look out. Joseph was defending. Both coaches wanted a foul. Price, the tough, step back. Tough, tough delivery. Tough kid. Oh, sticking it there. Here they go. Now it's Joseph trying to set a screen for the use of Flynn. So he doesn't mind this. He doesn't mind this. Now you're right. Totally different. Yeah, absolutely. They need to keep attacking the 10 now. The whole game is opened up for Syracuse. 24 points, 10 assists for Johnny Flynn, a second straight double-double of 19 and 11 last night in their win against Seton Hall. Right. Walker left all alone. His three was way off. He started toward the bucket immediately, knowing he was wide left. And a nice job positioning on the glass as well. Spread him and drive him. This could open up a little jump shot for Deaton Gorf or Routens if you help. Syracuse has not led in any of the overtimes. And Harris missed a great chance. And he missed it again. Will the third time be a charm? It's blocked by Edwards. Got a baby way to tank tough. Get it. And that first one was an easy layup. Yeah. He just missed it. He's missed a lot right around the rim. Earlier in the night, you can understand because the beat's in there. But Edwards, a long presence as well at 6 9. Nice split. Price all the way to the goal. Hits the floater. Two minutes to go. Fourth overtime. Connecticut by two. Devendorf goes by Austria and gets the roll. And tied at 104, 150 to go. Totally unafraid to go to the rim now. This is totally different than we saw earlier. And he is great with that left hand getting to the rim. Devendorf played 56 minutes, had... Enough an attack to blow to the goal. He has 22 points. A minute and a half left, fourth overtime. 15 to shoot for Connecticut. Got to keep him outside. And they've done a good job of that. Austria with 10 to shoot. Austria to Adrian. Off for Walker. The runner, no. And Joseph just into the game. Lost it, and then Edwards had it go off his fingertips. Could be waving him up over the timeline. Worried about a 10 second call. The hug up on shooters. That's going to open up these drives. Stunning to believe in the fourth overtime, Syracuse has not led in any of the overtimes. But that's what we hear from the official stats table. Five to shoot. Flynn needs to go. Flynn discarded. Oh. A defender missed the reverse. Adrian the rebound after Walker hit the deck and he's hurt. And what a pleasure. Connecticut ball, 6.3 seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. One timeout left for each team. Price will handle with Austrian Walker. 
Edwards and Adrian, Fabit and Robinson have fouled out for Connecticut. I get into something now. Don't get stuck late in the shot clock. They're up on Price. He gets an Edwards screen. Eight to shoot. Price, floater, no. Routens has it and has time. Seven seconds left. Routens has help. Flynn underneath. Harrison close. Missed again. Harris one more time. No. A nightmare for Paul Harris at the rim tonight. Oh. What better opportunity. No the beat, no dice. Right at the rim. A nice give by Routens here and then the extra pass. Look at this. Now, this is one of those maybe a piece on that on that on that release too and we mentioned Edwards coming into the game a big influence on that particular play well, what a challenge not first by Walker but then the great challenge here by Adrian and by Gavin Edwards 